when trying to build a business on the continent. Well, let's acknowledge the fact that the continent is not one uniform space. There's 54 countries, different practices, different mentalities, different approaches to how you start a business, uh, depending on where you are and which area of the continent you're located in. We can see a bit of a trend as to how difficult it can be to start a business on the continent. I mean, when you look in that um, banking transactions being extremely complicated. As an entrepreneur, to get a loan from a bank, you go through so much pain and stress and hurdle to not even get the bank considering your request for investment unless you put more than half of what you're asking, which if you had it in the first place, you wouldn't you wouldn't ask for the you know, loan. It can be a bit complicated and, and I'm not an expert in finance, but I can see when something is a bit off. A lot of people that are watching my, 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 my page and my content are people, uh, some of them in power, some of them in, in positions of high decision-making posture. I'm asking the question, why is it so complicated? I do understand the concept of having to walk through the politics, even though you might not want to be part of it, but you kind of forced to at some point in some way, shape or form. What led me to start questioning this is what is happening currently to one of the richest black men in the world and um, one of the most important entrepreneurs of the African continent, Mr. Aliko Dangote. When you see that this man has built one of the most sophisticated crude oil refinery on the continent, but also one of the finest in the world to be found on African soil. And he's going through what he's going through, having the biggest difficulties, you know, finding suppliers. It really poses the question as to how protected are entrepreneurs in their own countries. This is a sovereign con conversation, I guess. It's, you know, at the discretion of each and every country to decide how they operate and what they allow, not allow, and how much they're going to help this entrepreneur over this over that entrepreneur. When you have local champions, and it's not just Mr. Dangote, because billionaires in Nigeria, there's many. When you have local champions, you, you've got to... Um, do your best to help them thrive and, and, and bring about the added value that the society, the country needs, but also the region. This goes into how difficult it is for entrepreneurs regionally, continentally to work together, to connect, to collaborate, and the necessity to find a way to harmonize uh, these processes and, um, and create ways and means to facilitate better interaction, better financing, which are not always necessarily coming from outside sources, but that could be found locally.